everybody. Welcome into the Xfinity Preview Show. I have Marty Snyder from NBC Sports. Marty, Austin Cendrick, we were wondering when that first <laughs> win was going to come. Now he's got win number two. Well, we were really wondering who was going to step up and say, hey, I'm the fourth of the big four, if <laughs> right. you will, because we talked about the big three all year long in the Xfinity Series. But Austin Cendrick has certainly stepped up the last two weeks. Two road courses, obviously, he has a specialty there. But he's shown the strength to be able to get it done a mile and a half and different racetracks this year. And he's certainly improving as the year has gone along. I think the biggest thing for Team Penske is they've gotten the 22 car better throughout the year as well. We've talked about that as well with running the 12 a little bit more. The 12 will run again this weekend at Bristol. That's helped the 22 team get better. And I think that's important for that race team. And that's been big for Austin. So yes, the road courses have certainly helped, but I think also the 22 team's been getting better and that helps the overall program at Team Penske. Yeah, well after Bristol, we're heading to Road America. So yes, I'm sure another one for Austin. Yeah, he's it. looking forward to that one, no doubt about <laughs> it. All right, well we always kind of look to Justin Allgaier at some of these right. road courses too. Just wonder when JRM is gonna show up. So what's going on with that Junior Motorsports other than the Michael Annette win, right. where have they been? Well, and, and I wonder too what's going on at JRM. I think they have, you know, younger drivers and, you know, obviously with Noah Gregson there trying to learn the series a little bit, but they also have the veteran Justin Allgaier, and he hasn't shown up with the same speed this year. I think honestly they miss Kevin Mandering a little bit when he moved over to the 48 team. I think he did a little bit more at JRM than people know. Kind of worked on all the cars to some extent, created some new setup ideas. I think they miss him a little bit, but I do see Justin Allgaier continuing into the summer and getting better. If you go back to Bristol in the spring, he really had the best car in that race. I think he'll be a threat this weekend. And if you look at Michael Annette, his performance has certainly been much better far better than it's ever been in his career. So that team has gotten better. They need the rest of the organization to kind of pick it up a little bit though. Yep. All right, well, I know most of the drivers are glad that we're getting a break. From <laughs> right. those road courses, we're heading to Bristol right. Motor Speedway. So what can we expect from that short track? I think chief among them, Christopher Bell, who's excited to be done with the road <laughs> courses. Even though he's done well this year, he's ready to get to Bristol this weekend. And Bristol, this is a very short race for the Xfinity Series. It goes very quickly, so you really need to be on top of your strategy. We're going to see a lot of aggression because we've had these road courses the last few weeks. And we see this anger that builds up at road courses. Drivers getting into each other. Perfect week to kind of pay some of that back this weekend. So I think it's going to be a fun race. This is always one of the great ones. The night race at Bristol and the Xfinity Series race goes very quickly. So these drivers will be in a fast paced mode from the beginning of the race. Well, last time we raced at Bristol was the spring race for Dash for Cash. Yep. Now we're looking to the playoffs. So I right. think some tempers are going to be going crazy at Bristol Motor Speedway. <laughs> so who are you picking to win? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Justin Allgaier for Friday night because I think they had the best car there in the spring. I think they didn't get to show it. They led a bunch of laps, and then they had a mechanical issue take them out of the race. So I'm going to go with Justin Allgaier this weekend. It's tempting to go with Christopher Bell because as good as he's been at the short tracks this year, I think they've had the best program, and I think he'll be strong this weekend. But I'm going to go with Justin Allgaier. I think, I think he still remembers that spring race. He and I talked about it a few weeks ago. This one's been circled on the calendar for a while for the 17. All right, well, you tossed it up, and I got to hit it. I'm taking Christopher Bell in the yeah. 20 camp. I'm going to have him get it done. He, trust me, he's excited to be in Bristol this weekend. I don't know that he's looking forward to Road America next week, but he's excited for Bristol this weekend. Well, we are racing under the lights. It's Bristol Motor Speedway Friday at 7.30 p.m. on NBCSN. We'll see you guys right back here before we head to Road America.